Hello, and welcome to NextStar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 9, Reusing Pages with Templates. Many websites have a shared structure across the entire site. Visual Force allows you to achieve that kind of functionality using page templates. For example, if you want to have a certain element or set of elements that will appear on every page throughout your whole Visual Force site, you'll want to use page elements to maintain consistent functionality and design throughout the entire experience. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to reuse pages by creating templates. Templates are Visual Force pages that contain special elements that act as placeholders for the content that is going to be inserted into them from pages that inherit the template. To begin this tutorial, we're going to create a basic template to illustrate how this works. So the first thing we will do is create a new Visual Force page. We will call this page Basic Template. Click Create. Now in the page editor, we're going to add some content. The first thing you'll notice is that I am setting a style sheet that we used in the previous tutorial 7, the style.css. And there's a little bit of content. The first is the header, my fancy site. And this last element is an apex insert tag. This is the placeholder in the template. This will be replaced by content from an inheriting page when this template is put to use. Now let's go ahead and save our changes. Now as you can see, the style sheet has been applied and the page now adopts a look dictated in this style sheet. We've got our heading here and we've got a lot of blank space here that will be populated by this apex insert tag once this template has been put to use. Now that we've got our template created, let's make another page that will make use of this template. We're going to create another new Visual Force page and we're going to call it Main Page. Let's go ahead and click Create. Now in the page editor, we're going to add some content. Now the first thing that is new, we haven't seen before, is Apex Composition. This is where we're telling this page to inherit its template from our basic template that we just created over here. The next thing is we're defining this block of content as the body. That's Apex Define, we're naming it body, and we have some content here. And now what this does is this relates this block of content it denotes it as the body and then when this is used in conjunction with the template that content will be placed right here in the template. So let's go ahead and save this. And now you can see the My Fancy Site header is there as well as this body content. And now you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make another few changes just to kind of show how we can control the look and feel of this. Let's get rid of the header and let's get rid of the sidebar. Go ahead and save. Now there's our new main page. Our main page is directly inheriting from our basic template to get both the style and the heading. Now one more way I'm going to demonstrate how to reuse our Visual Force pages is to embed one page into another. So that's using the Apex Include tag. So to start this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and create one more new Visual Force page. And we will call this Embeds Another. Let's go ahead and click 
create. And then in the body of this Visual Force page, we're going to say this. We've got some text before our include and some text after our include. And then this element right here, Apex Include, will include the entire body of the main page back here in this brand new Visual Force page. And the last thing I'm going to do, let me just go ahead and remove the header and sidebar so we don't have any distractions. So if I save this, we should see our test before, the entire content of main page, that is the body that we defined in the main page, Visual Force page, and then the My Fancy Site header that we described in our main in our basic template. So this right here is kind of a good example of how you can how you can break your content apart and design it in sections to be built up into a much larger project. That's all for our tutorial on reusing pages with templates. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 10, creating and using custom components. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click the follow us on Google+.